and welcome to SnowRunner PS4. Now we're back on P the peer recovery after my screw up where I thought I needed one, but never mind. So the plan is we can take this one back up and that'll be the second one for the peer delivery. Well, this haze is a, a bit strong today and I think we're just gonna drive up that side there. That seems to be probably the best way to get out well one of the easiest ways to get out let's go a bit low range just so we don't slip because I always have trouble when I'm taking these concrete slabs no, we're not getting over that are we oh we are wow fair play to the Tiger I didn't I don't think I got the engine no I haven't I should have got the bigger engine upgrade. I'm in the middle one. But never mind, I was meant, what I was meant to do, change that. Because we might have to go back. Oh, I can't change it, can I? Once you've got something on the back. Because we've got the, um, the oversized cargo. And I'm not sure. Whoa, whoa, stop. Oh. I'll tell you what, the amount of times you think it's going to go. Right, this is the right way, isn't it? You just head straight out, cut across there, and we are out. Then we just got to go back to Zinigors, and then the uh, oversized cargo is. Well, it fell off the bloody trailer. It's using those trailers without the sideboards. I wish they had a trailer what you could pull on the back and add sideboards. That would uh, make things a lot easier. Really would. Didn't look like a bloody tree stump. What, what was that? And it'd be nice to get... Oh, there's a tree stump. Didn't see that one. Right there. Come on. It's not having none of it. Gear selection. So we can go over the top of them. No. Let's just go around them. What are you doing? What are you messing around them? Oh. oh, at least it was only one. Right, I have to take it steady because these uh, these concrete slabs they uh, they do move around quite a bit. They are packed, aren't they? Yeah, it is packed. That's good. Right, let's get on with this SnowRunner contract, the Pier Recovery. Now, there's been quite a few missions it's taken a, a couple of times to do, but it's down to me with not planning. Whereas when I where I took the trailer yesterday, I should have had a little bit more horsepower. And yeah, it's always the same. And that what I would have liked to have done is use the twin steer, but um, we haven't got the all-wheel drive. Where's the bloody rogue? Oh, there it is. I'll tell you what, this haze today is uh, pretty bad. You can't really see a lot. But yeah, it would have been nice to use the twin steer. I went to get that one out. I thought, oh, well, I'll just put the put it on the back of there. And we haven't got sideboards on the back. But I thought, well, it'd be all right. And um, yeah, it hasn't got all-wheel drive, has it? And I was like, well, there's no way I'm getting up this track, which you'll see very shortly. Now, the, the other thing I've had go on with this game just where we are here there was a service trailer and a ramp trailer they've gone absolutely disappeared then the other thing look over here what we got there there's a dam and I already did this mission ages ago I've done a video on it showed you where the location is on it and I came into the game and it showed there's a dam there and I was like hey what and didn't have to do a mission or anything. I just came to it. Um, it. It showed. It didn't show up until I actually got near it. And then as soon as I got near it, it said vehicle location discovered. And I thought, well, I discovered that a long time ago. But can't complain. Free truck is a free truck. But uh, I just didn't understand what's causing it because um, well, we did a bit of multiplayer yesterday, and we had quite a few glitches. The the video. We well, we didn't manage to finish the video whatsoever. Yeah, I was using a friend came in and said you can use a dairy. I thought, oh, brilliant. Yeah, we'll do a bit of hauling in the dairy. 
And it was really strange because the... And I'm going the wrong bloody way. We should be going up there, shouldn't we? To go up to... Yes. Anyway, the dairy, it seemed to be driving along with its... Um, as if the handbrake was on. It was really strange. And uh, we had a few little glitches with it. And it didn't like something in the game. It really didn't. because I, So I couldn't tow with it. A couple of times when I stopped when I had a lot of weight on and you went to pull off. And it just stopped. It just wouldn't wouldn't pull like he's doing now. Whoa, don't sink into that mud. Don't sink into that. Whoa. So yeah, really strange. And then when we went through to the next map, um, you know, where it it has been doing the ghosting, so if it, before you had to wait for the other person to get out of the way, that way and otherwise it would destroy the vehicle. And it was all right. We, we went through a few times and then went through and it was bang and it just completely destroyed the truck. It was a bloody nightmare. But uh, we'll finish that on a later episode and you'll get to see that. But uh, it was quite quite mad. It was like, what what's going on? So we're still having a few glitches. But it seems, see, my game has been fine. But I haven't really been in multiplayer uh, for a while. I've done a few little bit. And I think most of the problems are actually in multiplayer. Seems to be whenever you go into multiplayer, you have sort of problems with it. Whereas, um, basically, when we came through to back to the quarry, I needed some metal planks, and they were on the trailer. So as we came through, I came through, and then my mate came through, and his truck just went into mine and exploded and just went everywhere. And so then I went to, I thought, right, I'll go back and recover those metal pallets, metal planks, and they weren't there. And they're there today. It's, it's strange where some of these, some of these bits of, you know, some of the items you leave on the map, you come in one day and they're not there, then the next day they are there. And it's just like, there's no consistency here. So this is where I've got the container, and luckily, I've already brought the trailer up. Now, I didn't think about me getting past. Oh, we could go up that way, I suppose, couldn't we? Yeah, let's get out of low. Gets me every time that does. Why isn't it reversing? Because it's in bloody low. I wonder if we can go up alongside of it and get ahead. Because otherwise, what I'd like to do is hook this up to the trailer in a low range. Come on, let's get up there. Hook it up to the trailer, connect it up first before we go any further. Because it is on a little bit of a slope. I would have liked to move it forward a little bit, but we'll see how it goes, as long as I can get through here. Because that's not that deep, is it? No, it's not that deep. Oh, we are winched. Come on, get out of that. Right, there we go. Yeah, right, and just sink straight in. A bit of low. Low, low. See, why does it connect to that bloody tree? I want the tree in front of you. That's what we want isn't it? It's not very really clever about where it connects to. Right, into auto. Now oh, we might need to go a little bit forward than that and then reverse that. Oh, then again, we can just... Now if I attach my winch onto it, will it stay attached when I jump out? I can't remember if it does or not. Let's just winch that and then I bet it won't let me change gear, change gear, change truck. Yeah, the winch is gone, hasn't it? Oh well. Activate anchors. Now the back one doesn't work for some reason, it's just glitched a little bit out there. And why hasn't the crane function come up? Restore crane. Activate anchors. So why can't I use the bloody crane now? It's 
stuff like oh it's because you haven't started it that gets me so many times as well you know like, don't tell me that's glitched out right so hopefully and it does extend a then I thought it did oh I didn't really I thought it only extended out when you went up and down you learn something new every day don't you right got that one anyway so let's pick it up first turn it around and then hopefully we should be able to just lift this uh, R1 is lift is it no why won't that lift up then that's lift that's lower perhaps we need to lift it up a little bit why they put those bloody menu down there do they not play the bloody game like? You know, didn't somebody go, oh, I'll tell you what, when we're playing, this doesn't have to get in the way. You know, you put it at the top of the screen, brilliant. I'll tell you what, that is not going to pick the bloody thing up. What is going on today? Here we go. Right, well, let's get it back so it's actually going to go on there. Beautiful. Spin it around. Whoa, that was saved. might be all right let's winch it a little bit if we go up a bit and down a bit and then if we drop it yep there we go that should be fine exit restore crane change truck no change truck Make sure that's still packed. Yep. Right, so we're going to just have to be careful not to hit it because I need to connect and hopefully it doesn't do stupid jumping around because that could just throw it right off. I'll have to just make sure when I connect I'm very close to it. And hopefully it doesn't do its stupid jumping around and shake itself off. Attach trailer. Unpack cargo. Pack cargo. Nice. Right. Well, that looks like it's going to topple already. So we're going to need a low range. Right. Yeah. That's going to come off again, isn't it? Of course it is get back in the we might be able to pick the whole lot up again because yeah that ain't gonna last five minutes is it that's going straight off let's get those anchors out crane mode and I probably need to Oh, I don't know. Where are we going to... I'll tell you what, that might just have fixed there. See, this is why you need two players, isn't it? You could have somebody on that winch, and then I could just jump straight back into... Cargo is lifted. Oh, so you've got to take that off. Yeah, so it's probably dropped back down. Change truck. What? Change truck, thank you. Let's go. 
right, we might need a winch point, which we do. Come on, give me a winch. That'll do. Uh, yeah, that'll do, I suppose. I just don't want to lose this. Come on, we go nice and slow. We should be all right. But I definitely need more power, I think. Because that is not going anywhere. That's the first time you put it in low, low. I tell you what, I reckon I'm going to have to do this in two hits. I think I'm going to have to... Have I got a really crap winch on here? Did I not upgrade the winch? Because that is a... Uh... It's not going very far, is it? He's just like, what? There? And where's your winch points? There is none. There's none over that side. I'll tell you what, let's try it the other way then. Let's detach. See if we can drive up. Yep, yeah, so it is just that trailer what's holding everything up. So we can get up to a little bit further out of this mud. And then we might be able to winch on. If I get it up. Yep, so we can winch onto that tree now. But I'm just hoping. If we had a winch onto the trailer. It's coming. There's that one rock there as well, it better not stop. Right, we might be able to hook on now. So let's hook up that trailer. Reverse up a bit, come on. And I might need to take this, to go and drop this and then come back. Right, let's winch onto the tree. Cool. Bit of low range. And this is going to take a while, isn't it? I just wish I had that bigger engine and we probably wouldn't be having such an issue. Right, well. See, why can't I winch on that tree there? There's a tree right ahead of us. I want to get on that one, really. We get a little bit closer. And brake. Release the winch. Come on, mate. Ah, oh, why won't it do that one? Right, we might be able to get on it now. That tree, it will not let me winch from it for some reason. It let me winch everything else. Plus, I don't really want to be going that way. Yeah, we're uh, not going up there, are we? Right, let's disconnect again. Wow. Right, I can have that tree now, thank you. That's the one I want. I think we're going to have to do this in stages, just getting through this mud. Classic case of not having enough power. Would have been, wonder if it would have made a big difference having more power, a bigger engine. It is this bit, this is the worst bit. But it's <laughs> we're not moving anyway. Come on, 
pull it up. Whoa. While well, we're moving. And it looks a little bit better up here. I th well, I think it's quite a bad track all the way, but uh, we're getting it done. This mission is being finished after my big screw up yesterday with the concrete slabs. Well, I better put hook it up now because uh, I just saw the. Whoa, 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 whoa! Come on, come on, come on! Just let it. Ah, oh, should have been a bit quicker on the controls for that, shouldn't I? Right, auto. Stop. Attach. Right, we're attached on again. It's going to have to be an auto. Come on. Get up there. Why did that detach? I was after the winch. Right, stop. Winch. Still no winch points. I didn't upgrade the winch, did I? I've got a standard winch on here. That must be what's going on. Well, we're moving. I don't want to even look on the map to see how far it is because I know it's bloody miles. But let's get the winch into option, into the plan because uh, luckily I got that service trailer there. Because look at that fuel. With that winch on, it is uh, rocketing down. So let's refuel. Thank you very much. Can't believe we used half a tank to get to where we are now. Just coming from the quarry. That's crazy. Yeah, and I thought it got better. It doesn't get better, does it? What about low? Oh, there we go. We're pulling. Come on, nice and slow. Seeing there's, an, I haven't got much adjustment on this trigger. It's like all or nothing. You touch it a little bit, and it starts moving. But you give it full throttle, and you just watch that fuel burn go right down. Right, well, we should be able to see. How, oh, that's ridiculous. I can't believe how far that winch. That's got to be a standard winch. It's got to be. Uh, we'll keep, keep doing quick winch. Now up here. Oh, I didn't even want to look behind me then for that trailer doing that. Up here we should be... Yeah, we'll be alright here. Now, which is the easiest way? Stop. It is just carry on straight down there, isn't it? Because we don't want to be going round those windy lanes there definitely not so we're just going to head all the way down to there to the broken pier so we're not far away because the pier recovery is going to be finished today it's nothing worse than having to come back and do a, do a contract again but that is snow runner for you if you don't do a bit of planning or not sure on the ground, then uh, you're going to run into trouble. And the lat looked deeper. Well, I'll tell you what, we're probably better off. Oh, I can't believe I've got a small winch here. Oh, there's one. That'll do. 
Oh, it's one of them stupid bloody trees what doesn't winch you. What's the point of that? What is the point? Hey, what's it winched onto? I've got nothing there, have I? No. Nothing. We're just going to have to crawl along. I think I'm better off doing what we did before. Detach trailer. Move forward. And then drag the trailer through. Because that is deep. I just hope we don't tip the trailer up while we go through it. As long as we go in the same tracks, we should be okay. All right, we're right. Is it going to reach it? Just. Handbrake. Come on. See, there is a little shortcut. You could go down there, but I know what'll happen. I'll go down there. I've got it this far. We are not losing this load now. So let's just stick on the track. And we should be okay. Might be able to go up to plus low. I don't want to look, I don't want to look, look at that, look at that, look at that, it's going, it's going, it's gone. Oh. Okay. Thanks for that. It was going to happen, wasn't it? It was going to happen. I thought, no, it'd be all right. We just leave it, it'd be all right. No. Oh, dear, dear. It's the snow runner way. You think it's easy? It's not easy. Now I'll tell you what, this might be hard to flip back over. No, that's good. Right, let's get rid of that. So we're gonna have to bring up that crane anyway. And you know what? I think we're probably better off just go and drop this off because this is the extra bit of weight where's the road gone yeah I can go down that way straight down there a bit of low range come on let's go and offload these and then come back grab the crane load it back up and at least then we should be able to just drag it down no problems we're back on the road now. Now, cool. Well, that'll be half the mission done. See, if we had those sideboard trailers, it um, they seem to be a bit more forgiving. But you don't have the sideboards on the ramped trailers. Where are you going? Is it in there? Yeah, of course it's in there. I'm in the right place, aren't I? Yeah. I didn't recognise it, it looked a little bit different. Oh, I come in the other way, that's why. Come on, what's going on? It's slowing down there. It just doesn't like these concrete slabs. Way! Right, so now we just gotta go and get the oversize. And the crane. Uh, we've got the eyes off, so it shouldn't have any problems getting through. But we're going to have to re the road I want. No, it's the next on the right. Oh, zoom back out a bit. It's that, that one. We'll go up that, that way. We can quickly skate this bit to see if we want to drag the trailer down this way it's not that bad 
But that bend there isn't going to help. Might be better where we've just been. Drag it down that way. Come on, get up there. And yeah, it's weird, I'm not on the rift and it's just really foggy all the time at the moment, was it? Eight o'clock, let's, let's put it back to morning. Oh, that's a bit better. We've got a nice, bright, so it should be. Right, so that trailer we're gonna have to drag down to there. And then get the crane down and jobs are good. Enough. But same thing again, isn't it? Simple task. No, nothing simple. That's why it does pay to play in co-op, really, because um, that, that wouldn't... Well, we would have had it there. It'd be delivered by now. Train is too far away. Bit fussy on that. What? Right, you happy now? Yes, thank you. Right, we're probably better off reverse that trailer back up that way and then we'll drop it back down. Hopefully, now I did this the other day and it flew the truck up. Yeah, the truck jumped right up in the air, flew up. And uh, I didn't video it, did I? I was like, ah. Oh. Right, so that's sort of... It's not the flattest, is it? But that'll do. Right, let's go and get the Azov. Restore the crane. And I've got the mud tyres on this as well. So hopefully... Well, this Azov truck is a, a bit of a trooper. It's quite a good truck. Select wind point, go on. It is uh, one of my favourites, especially when you start, because it's one of the first ones you can get and you can just drive around everywhere and it's not a big issue. It's a bit slow, but it just chugs it along all day long. You know, we've got a, quite a bit of weight on here. I think I've got the engine upgrade. No, perhaps I didn't on that one either. Come on, get up that hill. Uh, I've got to go through all my vehicles. I've got so many vehicles. Because I, I did do the money cheat to get a little bit of money. Is uh, I need some money for for when the mods come out. I need to be able to buy them and have a look to see what's going on and what have you. Well, that's my excuse anyway. But I, I didn't get too much. It was only a couple of million. And now I've got so many vehicles. Like 50, 50 odd I think. What was it? 51. 51 vehicles only. Right, so this is the last nasty bit. As soon as we get up here, we should be all downhill. You see, I haven't even gone into low. Right, it just keeps chugging away. It's got to be one of the best trucks. Especially as you can do everything with it, it takes everything. You can put anything on the back, all the cranes, whatever you want. And it's quite good on the fuel. So I do tend to skate with uh, trucks rather than skates. Do we need low? No, it's going to chug through.
Now, can I position in the middle? And then I should be able to just swing it around, shouldn't I? Stop. Ah, oh, done it again. Stop, stop. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that does that trailer doesn't look too clever really, does it? Let's just try it. Activate anchor. Crane mode. Got that. Lift it up. Right. Yeah, because it's like how to... Right, so that's how you extend in. I'll tell you what, I've only just worked that out. It's up and down on the cross pad. Because I was when I was first using these cranes, I was thinking, well, why does it just go up and down and you can't extend the boom in and out when you can't? Because it doesn't show it on the buttons there, which is a little bit weird. Move that over that way a little bit. Back that way. Down we go. A little bit more. Come on. And it's nice to see the, the cranes work pretty well, actually. They're not too bad to use. Oh, what did I do that for? What's that truck doing? What are you doing? What is that truck doing? Where is he going? What the bloody hell is going on? Right, so what was all that about then? That was a bit, uh, what is going on? I thought, why does that truck just start taking off? It was as if it was um, connected to the winch, but I wasn't connected to the truck. Or was it, it was because I was connected to the trailer, wasn't it? So it started winching. Oh, I don't know. Right, change truck, getting the bloody ass off. Done it again. It's like, oh, why isn't it all working? Crane mode. There we go. That's why. Let's put it in the. Spin that around. Right, we've got the container again. Hopefully, we can pick it up this time. And then we just spin that round that way. A little bit more. Come on, now. A little bit more, a little bit more, come on. That's up, I want to go the other way. Ah, oh, that. Who put that there? Oh yeah, let's put it at the bottom of the screen so then it's in the way of it. So everyone can't see nothing. It's on. Change truck. It's still on. And we're connected, so if we unpack, I'll tell you what, that remove cargo right there, I've nearly pressed that a few times. Unpack. Pack. So which way are we going to go? Well, we've got to go down that way, no matter what because that was the way we were going so I think if we just take it steady and I don't put it on our, any high banks or anything we should be okay because these containers are uh, quite a pain in the arse I think we can go round to the right here can't we we go into the right, yeah, we go down that way, we don't want to go all the way around that other way. Right, let's get it into low range. Get away with low height. 
Maybe. And I'll tell you what, with all these forward planning as well, I've had the crane all ready to go. I thought, yep, that won't take very long. Why do I keep thinking this? Just think it's going to take ages, because most of the time it does. Yeah, I'll do that quick little mission. No worries. Yeah, right. Anyway, we are homeward bang now. And the SnowRunner peer recovery will be finally complete. Well, I think we'll leave it in low just while we get up there. Yeah, it's pulling a hell of a lot more. Much better without that, those concrete slabs on the back. I think I just needed that extra engine upgrade. For the mighty Tega. It's a good truck, it really is. Fantastic truck. We just need that little bit more power. More power. And hopefully I might get a rank up on this one. Because I've been uh, 117, so hopefully we'll hit that 18. Cargo management. I've been promoted. Nice. That's the best bit of animation I've seen. Most of the time it just skips out and you don't see the animation. Fantastic. Brilliant. So it said there's a warehouse open now as well. What was the warehouse not open before then? Must must have been okay fantastic well we got that done contract complete now what am i going to do with this trailer am i going to drag that back oh yeah we're gonna have to because my favorite thing to do is um what's going on oh. my favorite thing to do what i do is i keep coming in doing a mission and then like now you've done the mission right i'll recover and then you end up leaving your trailers everywhere and uh, on on Smithville, I've got so many trailers. Right, oh, well, that is it for Snow Runner PS4, and it was the Pier Recovery mission. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, why not check out one of my other episodes? Now, if you're new to my channel, haven't seen me before, and you're looking for Snow Runner content, then if you put in UK Gamer 808 Snow Runner as I also do farming simulator as well but if you put in snow UK gamer 808 snow runner it'll come up with all my videos so I hope you enjoyed it and if you did I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching <laughs>